Eu sou a Eleni. I am Elaine Franca. I'm 44 years old. I am a podiatrist and I specialized in diabetic feet. I'm from the interior in Bahia. I left my house at the age of 12 and went to live in a nearby city to study. And when I was 17 years old, I went to São Paulo. I found a church there and started to attend that denomination for about 24 years. Inside of me, I was empty because I would attend the meetings, but upon arriving home, I still felt empty. I fell into depression, suffered from panic attacks and was always fearful. I had diabetes and high blood pressure. I dated a man, we got married. I was with him 10 years, attending the same church him and I. But in 2010, we separated. We got a divorce. In 2013, I got remarried. I met my husband, we got married, and I was still in that same church. I thought I had the Holy Spirit. I then had my child. I became a mother in 2019. When I came back to work, That's when everything was closing. I went back to work in March. That's when lockdown happened. So I wasn't attending the services anymore. And in the month of June, there were major layoffs at work. That's where fights in my marriage started to occur. My husband was laid off. And having a newborn child, I hit rock bottom. I got an eviction notice from where I lived as well as the private office I rented out for work. And instead of having peace in my household, it was a living hell. Being the religious person that I was and being the only one in my family that went to church, when they saw me going through hardship, they would make criticizing comments like, what kind of God is this that you serve? My life was like a beautiful tree that was unable to bear any fruit because every area of my life was destroyed. Last year, I received an invite to attend the Universal Church. The one who invited me was a student of mine named Danny. She always invited me to go to the church, but I would constantly reject it because I would tell her that I already had my church, so I wouldn't go. I looked at the invitation and stopped to think. I said, I'll go. I don't have anything anyways. I don't have money. I only have my life. So let me see what tomorrow has in store for me. Upon arriving at the front of the church, I wanted to turn back. I couldn't believe that I was here, that I was in this place. I wanted to turn back. But as I was a woman of my word and told Danny that I would go, I knew I couldn't turn back on my decision. As she was always so persistent in inviting me all the time, so I went. I attended the service and I noticed that they accepted me so well. They greeted me in such a lovely way. That same afternoon I went home, I had lunch, and went to lay down with my son. Around 5pm I got up and said I was going to go to the 6pm service as the church was only 30 minutes away. And so I went to the meeting. In that service, there was a word that touched me. You who are here and your life is at the bottom of the barrel, at the end of the tunnel with no light, come here to the front right now that I will receive you. Come now. And so I went. That is where I restarted my life with God. Today I am a new person. My financial life has changed. My work life has changed. I'm healed from diabetes, high blood pressure, panic attacks, fear. Today I'm a new person. Today I am a child of God. Before I was a lost cause. I was a lost soul. Today I am a child of God. The Holy Spirit is everything in our lives. The feeling of emptiness is gone. Before the feeling of emptiness was so big, the void was so strong that I constantly needed to have people around me. I received the Holy Spirit of God, an unshakable faith. The doors I never even imagined walking through were the doors that changed my life. I have to even apologize to Bishop Eddie Macedo as I thought they were going to rob me. But in a sense, they did rob me. They robbed me of my depression, the emptiness, the diabetes, the panic attacks, the fears, the afflictions. The woman that used to accuse people, that judged people, that pointed fingers. They robbed me of all that. That's when I was washed clean and received the Holy Spirit.
I know that outside there are various versions of the old Elaine. But before you judge the church, come and visit. Come and see for yourself. I am inviting you, as I was once invited. I always say that the best gift I received was that invite. So don't reject this invite. Because the one who is inviting you is the one who is rescuing you. They are removing you from the hands of Satan. They are bringing you to the living God. Do not fear. Do not keep yourself stuck on the I thought this and I thought that. With all the fake news that goes on outside. Today, I have the honour to invite, to bring people to the church. I have faith and the certainty that one day I will bring all my friends, my sisters, my family here to the house of God.